I'm Detective Daniel Robinson. I'm investigating a case of serial murder. No fingerprints and no witnesses. The body was discovered on Tuesday evening. <sighs> I hate this city. Who does this? Three more corpses, three more victims. He acts systematically, calmly, and worst of all, patiently. He's messing with us. He even leaves quotes from the Bible. Daniel, you must know that there's a new murder in the city. And I hope you understand that I no longer intend to tolerate this. We need to deal with this as soon as possible. We cannot let chaos reign in the city because of the rumors and these constant deaths. I get it. I'll deal with it. Then we're clear there. Oh yeah. Detective, I've got to remind you that your future career will depend on the success of this case. I know. Nevertheless, for the time being, we have no leads. All we have is the torn Bible sheets the killer leaves every time at the crime scene. I guess he's obsessed with religion. All right, Detective. Before your arrival, they told me about a lead they'd found, as well as a witness. And now, after I brought you up to speed, go to the crime scene, to the Baker's Mansion. I hope to see a report on this case from you tomorrow on my desk. You may go now.
torn out of the Bible. The following lines. When the water will turn into blood, your dead will live, dead bodies will arise. But, you know, taking it for evidence. There's also a witness. There's much help. Alzheimer's. The doctors injected him with some sedatives because he was too aggressive. We're still trying to contact his son. What else? Uh, ah, the body's subject to rapid decay. It's as if it's been several days since the murder. Obviously, we sealed the door, and now we're waiting for experts to arrive with the powers. Again, uh, perhaps I'll uh, look around. This is Daniel. Can you hear me? I need reinforcements. Urgently. The weapons are down. They've been injured. Over. Damn it.
door is locked. locked. 